Ladies and gentlemen, health and wellness sport, Dr. Leo is here. Thank you so much for the support that you've accorded us on our videos, specifically the cancer videos. The reception has been tremendous and we thought it's wise that we make you understand the basics through this board video. And I promise this, so I have to deliver. So thank you again for being here. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel. It's a road to 100,000 subscribers. So be part of that generation. If you've been here and you're a, returning, uh, you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for taking time to be with us. We will also ask you to actually share these videos, to like, comment, so that these videos get to reach more people because that's our target, to change lives of people around the world. So welcome on board. Now, the, sub, the, the question that always pops up, what is cancer? This is a condition that most healthcare providers or most systems are unable to actually uh, define and I told you cancer you cannot define it because it's not one condition it's actually a syndrome so it's a syndrome that involves abnormal multiplication of cells and these cells end up overwhelming your immune system therefore the immune system cannot keep them in check once that has happened you start suffering from the spread of the cancer and then you die from the cancer the amusing part is the things that actually promote these genetic mutations uh, that cause abnormal multiplication of these cells are the same same factors that actually destroy your immune system or interfere with the immune system's ability to actually fight uh, the abnormally multiplying, multiplying cells. So therefore, if you manage to change your lifestyle, you will not suffer from these things. And we've talked about this on a very serious video. And I hope that you can actually put this live here, the link, so that people can actually go and watch it and understand it even better. So, Cancer is a growth, abnormal multiplication of cells. Now, normally we have different types of growths. Actually, growth is classified into three. We have the embryonic growth, where we go through the embryogenesis, the development of an embryo. From the time it's a zygote or a sperm and an egg, it fuses to form a zygote all the way as it comes out of the uterus as a, as a baby. And then organogenesis, where we have all the organs development during the embryogenesis, the embryonic stage and the uterus stage. So this is a normal growth. Another growth that is totally normal is the growth that involves an injured tissue. And we all know that when you get an injury, your body has to come in with mechanisms to actually repair and rebuild and regenerate. So that is the second type of growth. But the, type, uh, the third type of growth is what now we are actually talking about, the cancer. And this one can be very fatal. Remember, these ones are aiming at something, aiming at the development of the system. But this one is aiming at destruction of the system totally. So this can actually be fatal. And we'll talk about the types of cancer when we continue with this video, as we continue with this video. Now, this is the normal graph. But however, during the growth of cells, there are different types of also these growths uh, that are classified under the cells. So we have the hypertrophy, we have the hyperplasia, we have the metaplasia, and then we have the dysplasia, and now the neoplasia. I want you to understand that neoplasia is where the cancers are. So cancer is a neoplasia. Okay, but we'll get to that. So hypertrophy, these are cells from a single type of cells that just grow big. For example, you've been going to the gym and lifting for the biceps. You've teared the muscles and the muscle uh, proteins, the muscle fibers, sorry. And now when they heal and repair, they grow bigger so that you have these big biceps. That is hypertrophy, where the same cell just increases in the size. Okay, number two, hyperplasia. Now hyperplasia involves the cells, the cells in the same group, for example, the epithelial cells. So you can get this type of epithelial cells converting to the same type of cells, the epithelial cells, but now a different shape. That is hyperplasia. So we have the cells from the same group of cells just converting into a different shape or a different type of the same cells. So this, all these are the epithelial cells, but we are converting from this that looks like a cube to this that looks like a, a flat one. The third one is metaplasia. Metaplasia means the change from one form to another. For example, you can shift from the epithelial cells to another type of cell. So we are shifting from this type of cells to a different category of cells totally. So it's moving from one type to another. And this is what you see here. You see the epithelial cells converting themselves into different types of cells and differentiating to produce more of these cells. And this can be dangerous if your immune system is actually compromised. And then we have dysplasia. When you hear the word dys, basically means dysfunction, lack of function. So these are the cells that differentiate into cells that don't even have any function and they're easily destroyed by the immune system. However, we have now the animal in the building which is neoplasia. Anytime you hear the word neo, 
understand it's new so therefore these are new cells that behave differently from the normal cells and they multiply so faster because they know or they have an instinct that they can be easily destroyed by the immune system so when they evade the cell cycle and they come out and now they are producing these new cells these new cells are multiplying so fast this differentiating very fast and spreading all over to just conquer that is what we call neoplasia so we have this type of cells the epithelial cells developing into a new type of cell that now starts to conquer and spread causing you a lot of problems now on the neoplasia we say that's where the cancer is so this is basically cancer and therefore on that note i want you to look at this now so the neoplasia the cells that are new and they're cancerous are now classified into two and these are basically what we call the tumors so i want you to know we have tumors if you remember that live when i said you have tumors and then you classify those tumors into two we have the benign tumors which have no problem they cause no problem because these ones are localized and they can be easily destroyed by either your immune system or you can remove them through a surgical intervention or radiation just expose them to radiation and you destroy the tumor and then you monitor therapy so the benign tumors they don't spread they are localized they are easy to actually manage the danger comes in when you go to the other side of the tumors which are malignant now understand all malignancies are tumors but not all tumors are malignant because most tumors can actually other tumors can actually be benign which is localized and they don't spread but others can be malignant so all tumors are not malignancies but all malignancies are tumors they're coming from the tumors right good so now the malignant one when you hear the word malignancy means they spread and they can spread through the blood or the lymphatic system however they are classified into two the malignancies the cancers which are dangerous now that kill people they can be classified into two one we have the ones that we call the sarcomas so if you have a diagnosis of cancer look at the end of the diagnosis you'll either see something like sarcoma you will simply know that this is one type of the malignant cancers the other side is what we call the carcinomas adenocarcinoma kaposis sarcoma those are the types of cancers that are classified this way and why do we classify them as sarcomas or as carcinomas is because of where they spread through so the ones that are called the carcinomas they spread through the epithelial tissue so the epithelium the ones that are called the sarcomas they spread through the connective tissue and the major connective tissue is actually the blood so i want you to know this as they are spreading the carcinomas the ones that spread through the epithelial tissue they prefer spreading because metastasis is spread so they prefer spreading through the lymphatic system and the lymph and most of the cancer that we've talked about the pancreatic cancer the lung cancer the colon cancer the prostate cancer all of them are falling under the ones that spread which are called the carcinomas the ones that spread through the lymphatic system okay the second spread is through blood and when they spread they prefer spreading through blood we call them sarcomas therefore there's a cancer that happens in people who have hiv that is called kaposi's sarcoma that is one of the type of the cancers that actually spreads through the blood and the connective tissue so once you understand this you've understood the basics of cancer now we can actually talk about it from here as we spread forward and we've done justice because we've talked about pancreatic cancer the liver cancer the, uh, the prostatic cancer the lung cancer is also here and the colon cancer we've talked about them so review just pause and go back to the lives and review and you will get to understand because this was designed to be a basis for you to understand now know this that cancer feeds on two things one is glucose which is the 98 percent of energy and the second one is of course glutamine glutamine is an amino acid that is present in most foods but the larger percentage of cancer energy is glucose and then this glucose has to be under low levels of oxygen so cancer likes low oxygen uh, areas so when you have low oxygen and you have high glucose in the system you're actually activating the spread multiplication and division of cancer cells so therefore if you limit yourself from consuming glucose which basically means people who have cancer glucose has to be their enemy basically carbohydrates are your enemy because remember carbohydrates have no nutritional benefit for example uh, basically there's no nutritional deficiency for carbohydrates so why would you consume them when already you've been diagnosed with diabetes or for, with cancer drop the carbohydrates improve your circulation by exercising and doing all these breathing exercises and fasting also but most importantly i want to know i want you to know this as cancer is spreading through the, either the lymph or the blood highly inflamed tissues are the ones that are actually affected the most because cancer spreads so fast through inflamed tissues so if your tissues are inflamed and they either have the lymph nodes and they have because when you have inflammation the lymph nodes lymph nodes start to swell so if you have inflammation in the system 
cancer will spread so fast because that inflammation activates or actually enhances the spread of the cancer cells throughout the body. So inflammation is a serious danger in people who have cancer. And also glucose and carbohydrates are a danger in people who have cancer. So this is designed to actually show you the basics of cancer and so that you can actually understand uh, what we are talking about when you are talking about those lives. When I tell you to classify the cancers into two groups, how they spread and all that, you can easily use this as a way to actually understand cancer better. Mm -hmm.